Hey everybody, Ramblin' Mike here. Gonna play another pick a, pick a card with you today. Um, got four amazing decks that you can choose from. Uh, this pick a card will be, uh, how does your friend think or feel about you now? And um, I'm gonna throw out a five card movie spread. Uh, from the deck that you choose, a couple of cards off of the bottom of the deck, kind of an overall weather. I'm uh, going to play with some of these amazing Oracle decks that I have over here, the Mystic Moon Oracle, uh, the Romance Angels, and of course, uh, a couple of Major Arcana out of the 22 Majors from the Starman Tarot. I have four amazing decks for you to choose from today. Uh, many of these are uh, decks that I have modified. If you'd like to take a look at these decks, you can go over in my playlist and uh, look at many of these decks and uh, see what they look like and, you know, all that fun stuff. So, here we go. Uh, the first deck is going to be the Witch's Tarot. Those of you that feel led to that one, that will be the first deck that we play with. The second deck that we play with will be the Golden Tarot. The third deck that we play with will be the Druid Craft Tarot. And the fourth deck that we will be playing with is the Influences of the Angels. Um, all these will be time stamped down below. So here you go. Make your pick. The Witch's Tarot. The Golden Tarot. The Druid Craft Tarot. Or Influence of the Angels Tarot. All right. Here we go. Let's play some cards, peeps. Everything's time stamped down below. So here we go with our first group that chose the Witch's Tarot. Thanks for tuning in one more time, guys. I love you. Let's take a look at what your friends thinking and feeling about you right now. Thank you, love team. Appreciate it. Uh, let's tell our friends a little five-car movie spread here, love team, about what their friends thinking and feeling about them. A couple off of the bottom of the deck as a overall. And then, of course, Love Team, we're going to be playing with the uh, Oracle decks right here, a handful of each one of these, and a Major Arcana to come out. So let's tell our friends right here that chose the Witch's Tarot what they need to know most for their highest good. Thank you so very much for that. Here we go. Let's cut the deck. Cut the deck. All right, peeps. What's your friend thinking and feeling about you right now? Here we go. Here we go. Thank you, love team. Thank you. Well, we got the high priestess. So this can say a lot. It is a major arcana. It can say that there may have been some silence between you two. It can say that they feel that you are very spiritual, that you are tuned in, tapped in, Turned on to the divine. Hmm? May talk, of course, it's the high priestess that can talk about the possibility that there's some secrets. You know, um, not really my favorite card to open something because all the secrets and the mystery and the silence that can be evolved with the high priestess. But hopefully it is somebody that is awakening to what they need to be awakened about. More. What is their, what is my peeps friend thinking and feeling about them right now? Well, this is interesting. Three of Pentacles came out here. Now, Three of Pentacles is about working on a foundation of something that's important to them with you. They may not be talking with anybody about it. It may be, that may be the secret. They may not be talking with anybody about it because in the witch's tarot right here, there's only one person in that card. And you can see them, they're making plans right here. You know, it's alchemy. 
you know? It's making plans right here about working on a foundation of something that's important. You. I like it. I like it. I mean, that's a nice little secret right there, huh? Hey, planning. What else are they thinking and feeling about my peeps right here, love team? Thank you. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh they think you're the queen of wands right there. The queen of wands, you know. Somebody good looking. It's fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, all that. They think you got a little bit of fire in your world. They think, you know, you're exciting, passionate, charismatic, good looking. You know, the catch. They think that if they don't make a move that, you know, they, they have the potential to lose you anymore. Probably because of all the silence and all that going on, you know. <laughs> Source is talking to them right now. You need to make some plans and go in there and uh, talk to your little fire fire queen or fire king right here. Because if you don't, uh, they, they, they can skedaddle on, on out of here if you're not showing them how amazing that they are. They, they'll go find somebody else because they are absolutely amazing. They think of you very highly. That's probably one of the secrets, huh? Knucklehead shit right here. What, what are they thinking and feeling about my peeps right here that chose the witch's tarot? Thank you, love team. Oh. <laughs> There it is right there, our little princess of love. You know. We can talk about apologies, can't it? Definitely they want to communicate with you. It's a communication card about love. I always love this one because it's our it's our little our little page of love right there. She's about to get hit right in the back of the head with a tsunami of love. Gaboom! Go come in hitting him right in the back of the head, huh? They're definitely having an awakening about something, about a connection, and how amazing that you are. Yeah. I like it. They want to come in with a, a sweet message of love for you. And some apologies and all that, huh? They're afraid they're going to lose your ass. Here we go. Yeah. Look at man. This is amazing. I think you're the empress. Sacred feminine energy. You know. She's all about new beginnings and abundance and love. They would like a new beginning and abundance and love with you. Uh, they may have had a heartfelt change. Definitely from what I see right here. The Empress, you know, she's always birthing something new and creative. She is Venus incarnate in the sensual earth. Uh, they just got hit in the head with a love tsunami. Why? Oh, Cause the old river of tears right here. Five of cups is the weather over top of this. Yeah, the old queen or king of passion may have left them out in the cold for whatever reason. Hmm, probably cause they was being a knucklehead. You know it. Mm-hmm. But there they are sitting at the river of tears. Wherever they've been, they got their cups spilled. That's for sure. They're all spilled right over here. Staring right at the two cups, the two cups in the tarot. Always talk about the true love, you know. Wanting to bridge that gap. See that? I just see that right there. I want to bridge that gap right here. Yeah, man. They got hit right in the head with a tsunami of love. Boom! Oh my God, I blew it. Oh, my cups got spilled. I really need to work on this right here. I'm going to lose my very passionate one right there. I'm going to lose my empress, man. I need to make a move. I need to make a move. And I need to make a solid move. Look at this, man. The old knight of pentacles. I don't mind the knight of pentacles because he's coming in with a solid offer. This is a solid offer from what I see right here uh, coming in here for you from your friend. And we are coming up in the retrograde season soon and very soon as I post this, you know. Um, I will be posting this at the first part of February 2020. These are timeless, though. But um, definitely, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at this back there in the background. Look at that, that buck back there just kind of stopped and staring, you know. You know, somebody wants to make a solid offer to you, man. 
and uh, and uh, I got the wheel after that. Talks about karmic cycles coming to an end. New cycles coming in here for you. Let's throw out uh, some of these um, Mystic Moon oracles on this. This is nice. They're being led and guided by the divine. They're having some kind of spiritual awakening. They're making plans. I think that's the secret. The secret is that they that they love you. And the secret is that they, they want to build something with you. I mean, that's... And they're going to show it to you. They, they, they have to realize it themselves. Old Five of Cups right there. Huh? The old River of Tears. Yeah, they're going to come in and give you a solid offer. Because it's time. Time has come for it. All right. Mystic Moon. What do we got? Mute. Yeah. They've been all quiet. They was all quiet. They all up in their head about what they're going to do right now. Look, I, I love this little picture right here. It's like... <laughs> They're getting short circuited by a source. <laughs> you need to move. You need to move right here. You're definitely going to blow it on oh, bottom of the deck. Fear card. They're fearful of it because they've been settling for whatever. They're settling over here, but it didn't work because they got the cup spilled. Yeah, they were settling for something, man. And look, they've released it. This is nice, because this is somebody single right here, making plans. They may have already released it, because the cups are spilled right there. Whatever they were settling for, they're fearful, because they know they need to come in and tell you these secrets. That they love you, they wanted to go forward with you, that they blew it. That they're afraid they're going to lose you, because you're the Empress and the Queen of Wands right here. They feel that it's destiny, possibly with the wheel of fortune. They're, they're fearful to tell you all this, you know, but they're going to because they've definitely released the situation in their past. Oh, uh, they've come to the conclusion. This is nice. About who they're supposed to be devoted to. And this is, it says karmic partner right there. So they've got a release right here. They've come to a conclusion about who they're supposed to be devoted to. Their empress right here. The wheel of fortune. It's really nice. Really nice. I like it for you. I like it for you, my witches tarot people. This is a nice spread about a lover, man. It's finally figured it out. And they're still a little bit of fearful, you know. They're a little... Little chicken, little chicken little. Oh my God, the sky's falling. Yeah. Oh my God, I got hit in the head with a tsunami of love. Yeah, you did. Yes, you did right here. All right, love cards on this, please. What do we got? What jumped right there? Because look, man, you, you know, they freed themselves from, well, that karmic relationship was on the bottom of the deck right there. So they've definitely freed themselves, probably because you freed yourself from this situation. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. And it's time for them to take back control of their life. It's nice, man. Oh, and passion came out. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, they, 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 they know, they know, they know who they're supposed to be devoted to. They, the, this person has figured it out. They have come to the conclusion, man. <laughs> they have freed themselves. They've taken back control of their life. They've released something that they were settling for. Uh, they're going to end the, end the, end the mute, end the fear, make a movement right here. You're going to be coming in, playing some kissy face real soon with you. It's nice, man. Very, very nice. And uh, let's do a major arcana on top of this, please. Thank you very much, love team. Got the death card. Look at that, man. It's Scorpio energy. Uh, it is uh, death, birth, and resurrection. I mean, this thing probably may have seemed like it was dead dog in the middle of the road, dead. Huh. But, well, man, somebody got hit in the head right there. And they knew uh butterfly is coming out of that old cocoon right there 
Super nice. And, uh, well, the star came out. Aquarius may mean something to you, may not. Uh, the majors that I have on the board are Scorpio, Aquarius. Uh, the Empress is... I always connect Aries to that. Also, Taurus, Libra may mean something to you, may not. The High Priestess is Cancer, Pisces. May mean something to you, may not. But this is a solid offer that's coming in from a situation that may have looked like it was dead dog in the middle of the road, dead, that you may have freed yourself from. Obviously, they have freed themselves from some kind of karmic situation that they were in. They're, they're nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof that if they don't move now, they're going to lose you forever. They've had some kind of spiritual awakening right here. Star card is that card of great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. Is that card of healing. You don't get the star card unless you've been through hellfire. And all right, my peeps. I love it. What a beautiful love story. I hope you enjoyed it. No, I did. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I love you guys. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. All right, let's pick all this up right here. And put the witch's tarot up. Shake these cards up a little bit right over here. Let's shake them up. Let's shake them up. For uh, my golden tarot people, shaking it up with my golden tarot people, love team. Thank you. Shaking it up for my golden, my golden tarot people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, love team. All right, let's shake these up a little bit more. For my golden tarot people, love team, thank you. My golden, my golden, my golden tarots. Thank you. And shake this up a little bit for my golden tarot. My golden tarot people, thank you, love team. Thank you, love team. All right, here we go. Let's do a five card movie spread, love team, for my golden tarot people. Five card movie spread, two off the bottom of the deck, a little weather over the entire spread. Some of the uh, Mystic Moon oracles, the Love oracles. And, of course, the overall the star, man. Thank you, love team. Can't do this without you. Let's cut the deck for my golden tarot people. Here we go. How's your friend thinking and feeling about you right now? What's your friend thinking and feeling about you right now, golden tarot people? Thank you. Here we go. Well, the Empress came out. Imagine that. They see you as the Empress, the great nurturer of the tarot deck. Venus incarnate in the sensual earth. Love it. That is Aries, Taurus, Libra. May mean something to you, may not. They think that you are the Empress. More, please. What are they thinking about my golden tail, peeps? Thank you, love team. Well, they think you got it going on, man. Nine of Pentacles, huh? My independent, self-assured, confident business person right there. Get that glare out there. Yeah, man. Got it going on. You know, I always see her as a falconeer. Not everybody wants a falcon, but those that do, they come to her for her falcons, her giftings, her talents. And lay out all those golden coins for her, for all of her giftings. You know, they see you as, you know, as probably entering into some new beginning of abundance coming in here for you. And I mean, across the board, sacred feminine energy that's been playing these games out right here. This is the energy that they've had coming in for them. They, they're learning to be love on themselves and all about their home, their health, their wealth, their career, their spirituality, their coin, 
all of that is meant, and this is really what they see. They 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 definitely watching you. Um, they see that uh, you're single because you choose to be single, not because you have to be. For many of you, they see that you are the empress, always birthing something new and creative. This is amazing energy that I see right here. What is your friend thinking and feeling about you right now, my golden tarot people? Thank you very much. Appreciate it, love team. Here we go. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> I mean, what house does she live in? Yeah, she lives in that Ten of Pentacles house right there. Yeah, man. She lives in that Ten of Pentacles house. They think that you're the catch. <laughs> you know, that's that little card of the little white picket fence. The big pink house. Regardless of you're thinking about it, they are. You got it going on. You may not even see them. <laughs> Boy, they see you right there. Little white picket fence and the big pink house, huh? They be like, oh, lordy. Oh, power couple right there. But, I mean, you got nine pinnacles going on right here. This is nice. This is how they see you. What are they thinking and feeling about you right now, my golden tail peeps? Knight of Swords. <laughs> you know, here they come. Here they go, come rushing in right here. Oh, Lord. Lord, what's going on around here? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna be beaten down to dragons or whatever. Trying to get into the old Ten of Pentacles palace right there. <laughs> I like it, man. Oh, nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof. Probably owe you about a thousand apologies. Not sure what you're going to do because you don't need the little pinnacle that they're bringing in. So this comes in real fast so it can get out again real fast if they don't like what happened. Here we go. One more. One more. And the uh, two pinnacles came out. Trying to keep themselves balanced right now because they're nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof. Definitely going to approach you because this is the card for me about, well, I call it learning the dance of change. This person is beginning to change. Why? Because they see you have changed. They're watching you, man, and they got something to tell you. It probably is that I want to change like you have changed. Hmm. You know, definitely a partnership energy right there, you know. The old infinity symbol is definitely on that card. You know, the old juggler. Those, those pinnacles have never really hit the ground, though. I mean, they're probably where the old juggler energy, huh, with the knight of swords, the old brash one. Oh, yeah, about a thousand apologies, and then two pinnacles comes out, you know. The old juggler is showing up in this spread while Sacred Feminine got it going on. Slap Flat got it going on, you know. This is about learning the dance of change. It has begun with them. The change has begun with this person. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is coming out here. Let me get that glare off of it so I don't play with these too much. The old Page of Cups. Sweet messages of love. Look at him. Look at him. Listening to the old fish in the cup right there. I'm telling you. This is the beginnings of this person having an awakening. That you've already had, man. You're just blowing them out of the water. They want to tell you how they feel about you. They want a new cycle to begin with you, the world card. They may live at a little bit of a distance from you with the world card and that old knight of swords. That's fast movement. They want to end this old cycle that's gone on with you, and they want to start a new cycle, of course, because you're the freaking world. You know, you're this golden angelic being that sees the world as your oyster. They like that about you. And also the old Ace of Wands right here. 
<laughs> they got some burning out passion for you as well. Of course they do. Of course you're ringing their bells. It's your call what you want. They want to end that old cycle with you. I, they're still showing up as a page and the old two of pinnacles and, you know, driven by the old ace of wands, but I don't know. You know what's best for you. They want to bring healing in this situation, four of swords. Maybe they're not out running around anymore with that four of swords, learning the dance of change, you know, because he's not out running around. He's, he's spending time with source healing his broken heart or her broken heart, using that sword to cut things out of their life to no longer serve them for their highest good. Yeah, I see a story here. Um, wherever they were at, it wasn't good for them. Five of swords, they had to stand up and do what's best for them. They, they You know, the, the high priestess, they definitely got some secrets, that's for damn sure. Two of Wands, they were at the crossroads about which way they wanted to go. They figured it out, it's you, because wherever they were at, it was Five of Swords. It was Five of Swords for them. Which means that it wasn't a good world, man. Manipulation, control, narcissistic behavior. You know, what to sow is what you're going to reap, huh? I got to show you just a couple more right here. Um, yeah, this is all making sense. I got the King of Wands, and there's that old passion right there, and all this fire and all that. The old King of Wands, sitting there with his hand on his heart, like there's been a heartfelt change that has begun with this character. Because of the freaking devil that they ran into. And, uh, now they know what they do want. They want their star. Majors that I have on the board are Aquarius, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, Aries. May mean something to you, may not. They are definitely concerned that you're going to be the queen of swords and be like, you know, I know who's been painting my white roses red. Off of their blooming head. Um, but they're going to approach you anyway because they can't sleep at night and all this shit. Classic story about somebody who figured it out, you know, maybe a little too little, a little too late, huh? But nobody knows what's best for you. Got nine of coins. They're going to come in and give you a solid offer because six of cups... Uh, sweet thoughts of nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner energy. Somebody who, who has experienced a tower in their life right over here. Because, you know, this can talk about a karmic and all that. The devil. They've had a heartfelt change. I see it right here. It has begun with them to heal. I don't think they're out running around being knucklehead anymore. At least not this week from what I can see right here. Um, the source, sources, that's a high priestess right there. Sources tuck in their ear, man, about, you know, you need to make your mind up about what you're going to do. You need to end this silence if there's been silence. You need to make a move right here because they got it going on. I mean, all of this is pointing slap up at the Empress, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, I mean, you got it going on with or without them. And uh, they finally figured that out right there. Wherever they were at, man, they didn't, they didn't got that going on. They got the tower going on. They got the devil going on. They got a heartfelt change going on. They're definitely concerned that, uh, you're going to be like, hold a sword up towards them right there. They nervous, man. You know, and they finally see you as the star. I mean, you may be the star. You may be a star, whoever I'm talking to right here with the empress, the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. You may literally be a star. And they blew it, man. And they know it now. <laughs> All right. Love card on this, please. Oh, what do we got? Oh, the Oracle jumped out. Oh, look, man. Healing jumped out of there. That's nice, man. This is nice. Came out of a different deck. I like that. 
All the chakras lining up. Let's play with that deck then, huh? The healing, the healing card came out here. They definitely want healing. They definitely took the school of hard knocks to get to where they're at, but this is about healing on their part. You already got your healing. I see you right here. You're a freaking star, man. You're you're impressive. Yeah, um, what we got right there? Look at that. Received. It's like they uh, have received a message from the divine. They've been like reaching out their hand to see if you will receive them. They have definitely begun to receive their healing. Interesting. More, please. What do we got? Oh. Metamorphosis. Look at that, man. It's begun, I'm telling you, with this person right here. I know this journey is all about you. But you were a major spiritual catalyst in this person's life. That's for sure, man. Because you fired off a metamorphosis change in them. One that you've already experienced. There's no doubt about it. And if this is some kind of soulmate, twin, of course they're coming right behind you because you're the one flying high on this metamorphosis journey that, that you're on right here. You've been patient. And I uh, did get a little seasonal card right there. It says summer. So I, that's why I say back here, it has begun to change within them. And Source can do it fast work. And if it has begun to change in them now, if, if you got total manifestation of metamorphosis in their life by the summertime, that's really freaking fast. Really freaking fast. And they will, they will need your help to, to do that, you know, to pull off that kind of healing in that short period of time. But Source can do that. We all know that, huh? We all know that. All right. Love card on this, please. Let your friends help you. That's nice, you know, during your time of patience and all of that. Let your friends help you. They're probably talking with their friends too, you know, about, oh my God, what do I do, man? Did you see Obuki Boo over there? Man, they got so freaking famous and money and all that shit. Oh my God, how am I ever going to get them back? They're probably talking with their friends about it too, about how they can put this all together. But you're just rocking. You just make it happen, man. <laughs> yeah, let your friends help you. Oh, it's because you did that right there, didn't you? Yeah, you loved yourself first. They should teach this stuff in the elementary schools, by the way. To love yourself first. And children, after I said that about elementary schools, look at that. Maybe some children involved here. Maybe some babies on the other side that want to come here. New love. Showing up, new love being birthed in our reality right here. I love it, guys. It's beautiful. Could be some babies that come out and all that with all that passion that showed up right there with that ace of wands, huh? Yeah. All right. Major Arcona on this, please. Oh, the Hierophant came out. You know, he's definitely, that's Taurus. He's definitely about uh, being streetwise and spiritual at the same time, huh? Because this is like the beginning of the change for them. It's all about being the student and the teacher at the same time, huh? It's definitely about um, all the wisdom that comes into your life because of these journeys, ain't it? Oh my God, but did you get some wisdom? Uh, yeah, man. The Empress, the Nine of Coins, Ten of Coins, Star card. And it's definitely about a committed relationship, you know. Got the old hangman right there. Still may feel a little stuck like Chuck, but this is Source coming in to blast you out of that Hangman's tree. Hopefully this spread right here, you know, because Hangman's all about getting a new perspective. Hopefully this spread right here helped you see a new perspective about what could very well possibly be going on with your friend and what they're thinking about you today. All right, that was powerful. I hope you enjoyed that. I love you guys. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. That was nice. That was nice. All right. Let's pick all these golden tarot up right here. All right. Going to shake these cards up a little bit. 
before I go with my Druid Craft people. This will be for my Druid Craft people. Love team. Shaking these cards up for my Druid Craft people. Thank you. Cut, cutting them for my Druid Craft people. Thank you, love team. For my Druid Craft people. Shaking it up a little bit, love team. Thank you. Cutting it for my Druid Craft people. Thank you, love team. And for my Druid Craft people, shaking it up here a little bit. Thank you, love team. And a little cut. My Druid Craft people. Thank you, love team. All right, let's play with it, man. I love the Druid Craft deck. Here we go. This is from my Druid Craft people. What your friend may be thinking and feeling about you right now. Five card movie spread, love team. For my Druid Craft people, what their friend may be thinking and feeling about them right now. Five card movie spread, couple off of the bottom for weather. Some of the uh, Mystic Moon Oracles, some of the Romance Angels. And a couple of the Major Arcana of the Star Man. Thank you, love team. Here we go. Five card movie spread. What we got right there? We got a jumper. Justice came out. This is Libra energy. May mean something to you, may not. It's the first time Libra showed up today. It's justice. Um, justice shows up, you know, when there may not have been some justice in the situation. Justice shows up and there needs to be the balancing of karma between some two right there. Let's see where this goes right here. I do like justice coming out. What are they thinking and feeling about you right now? Oh, the old queen of swords. Ooh, you know, that's air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Air energy all over this spread coming out right here. You know. They could be believing that there's some justice needs to be going on. Because, I mean, this queen, man, she got her back turned to that right there. Whoo, boy, they meant done something that you don't like. Whoo, she got that sword raised up and that back turned. More, please. What are they thinking and feeling? What are they thinking and feeling? About my druid crap, people. Oh, well, of course, they think you're the Empress. They think you're the Empress. <laughs> I just, this energy right here is just like, whoa, man. This person don't even want to play with them no more. There has been some serious injustice going on right now. Major Arcanas coming out. This is Aries. Libra again. Taurus. They think that, you know, you're the bomb, man. You're the empress. You're the one that always birthing something new and creative. But you know, that old queen of swords, man. That's, I, every time I look at that, I just be like, whoa. What are they thinking and feeling about you right here? I don't know if you're going to play with them anymore. Five of swords. More air energy, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you're going to play with this person anymore. But... Nobody knows what's best for you better than you do. Five of Swords is that card of manipulation, control, possible narcissistic behavior. How many times does the empath run into these knuckleheads right here? And the empath ain't putting up with that no more. No, 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 no. The world that we're going into... It's a different world, the age of Aquarius, where the empath is going to be the king and the queen of this new world that we're going into. And no longer are they going to allow these knuckleheads to run ruckshot all up over them. How many eons has the knucklehead come in here and run all over the empath? Those days are done. 
The empath is going to love themselves more than that burning love that they have for any knucklehead and fly high up here. And if you're going to play with the empath anymore, you're going to have to come up here and play at a very high level with them. Five of Swords, man. Uh, they may feel that uh, you're not going to play with them anymore. You know, that you have put them in the timeout chair, that you may have even fired this person right here is the energy I'm getting. You're just going to fly high, just be the empress that you are, you know. Uh, they may feel that you're all about um, a new beginning in abundance, a new beginning in love. Yeah, this person, um, they, 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 they pretty much feel that it's done. One more, please. One more. Ah, the emperor right there. The emperor, you know, I mean, it's probably some kind of soulmate connection between these two. One thing's for sure, just because it's a soulmate connection doesn't mean that it's supposed to go anywhere. Other than be a major spiritual catalyst for you to propel you into a whole new world of spirituality. I see that with the empress right there. But the old emperor right there is just stubborn, just sat in his ways. I mean, look at these cards right here, man. You know, it's about manipulation and control, narcissistic behavior is what I'm getting out of this right here. I, I don't see any change in this person. They may come in and tell you that they want to change. Let's see what these cards have to say. Oh, there's a new beginning coming in here. That's right above, it's right above the Empress right here too. I don't believe it's this person because this is all air and Aries. And then this coming out right here is Pinnacles. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we have a new beginning, a new communication coming in here for you. And Ten of Pinnacles, our Princess of Pinnacles. It's about communication, telephone calls, face-to-face -face meetings, 3D meetings. Somebody that's Ten of Pentacles, you know, the quintessential universal dream, the little white pick fence and the big pink house. I mean, if this is your story right here, this kind of contrast that I'm looking at right here, it's really our friend. I know it's fucking insane if this is resonating with you because that contrast shows us what we don't want. So we can set our intentions on what we do want. There's some communication coming in here. It's not from this person right there. I think with Five of Swords, you're, you're done with them the way this queen is sitting uh, you know, because there was definitely some injustice. It definitely propelled you into a whole new world of spirituality. Uh, you become the empress, you know. Uh, knowing what you don't want definitely shows you what you do want. And I got the emperor right there. He, he definitely a little mad and a little, little just stubborn, just setting his ways right there. I don't know, man. And, you know, the emperor and the empress are both on the board. So it definitely was some kind of soulmate and definitely... Uh, was challenging for you to walk away from this if you did. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. You'd learn to love yourself more than that burning love that you have for this person right here. But this is about something new coming in, if you were to ask me. The Princess of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like as soon as you let this go, uh, and you have, and they're realizing it, um, the faster this is going to show up for you from what I can see right here. It's nice. It's nice. Um, what are they thinking about you and feeling about you? That they blew it. It's done. It's blew it. They blew it. It's done. They're going to watch you. They're going to watch you go find your Ten of Pentacles world. They're going to watch you manifest right here. They don't like it. They don't like it one bit, man. Uh, yeah, look, stuck. They feel stuck. Well, I mean, you should think about your actions, not act like a freaking idiot, huh? They're stuck, man. They're stuck. You're not stuck. You're moving on from what I see right here. They're stuck. They're stuck like Chuck. Stuck like Chuck in a truck right there, man. Boom. Done. Done. More, please. And, you know... <laughs> Look at you, watching you just metamorphose. Look at you, man. The metamorphosis card came out. They are watching you. They are stuck, but they are watching you just metamorphose something new into your world right here. Undoubtedly, 
you'll be some kind of uh, spiritual catalyst in their life too. Many times these soulmates, we learn our lessons that we signed up to learn with them during the relationship. And the other one may not learn those lessons until after the relationship. This is a metamorphosis, man. This you turn into a butterfly right here. <laughs> oh, see, I told you. Oh, man, because, you know, they're stuck. They're in some kind of bondage. It's going to lead to dark night of the soul for them. So you're definitely a spiritual catalyst. I want you to do what's best for you. I want you to be this butterfly. Because you know the truth of the matter. We don't become this butterfly unless uh, we went through this. So, I mean, this person definitely put you through this. Right here, five of swords and all of that. Um, and there's definitely some kind of family coming in here for you. A fresh start. See, that's all right here, man. A fresh start with my... Princess of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles, metamorphosis for you. Some kind of new, fresh start coming in here for you. It's going to get dark for them. Definitely going to get, definitely going to get dark for them, man. Yeah. The balancing of scales. Wow, it's fucking heavy, man. Definitely heavy. Oh, fuck a third party right there. All right, enough. All right, enough. couple of love cards on this man i, I want to know about this up here love team this fresh start this family ten of pentacles metamorphosis this person uh they're just uh they, they have to go deal with some karma hmm. they have to deal with some shit man anyway this this is a new beginning for whoever i'm looking at right here i want to throw love cards out on this right here thank you finances and career came out that's nice. I mean, this could be a very power couple right up here coming in. Ten of Pentacles, finances and career coming out. Definitely attraction came out. Children. Look at all the children and new love. New love, man. This is beautiful. And, and, and got the old card, huh? It's safe for you to love and worth waiting for. You've been calling in your soulmate. One step at a time. Be playful. Be fun. All that. No pressure on it. Let this unfold for you right here. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm super happy for you, whoever I'm talking to right here. You, you know, uh, you use contrast to show you what you don't want so that you can set your intentions and focus on what you do want. Bam, we got manifestation right here. And whatever they're going to go through, um, hopefully they're going to come out and have this kind of metamorphosis one day themselves. That's where it comes, don't it? Comes out of that world right there. Anyway, y'all know that. Major Arcana. Wow, look at that, man. The Hierophant came out. Um, and of course, that's Taurus. He's definitely, the Hierophant is about uh, being uh, streetwise and spiritual at the same time, being the student and the teacher at the same time, huh? About all the wisdom that comes into your life because of these journeys right here. And uh, definitely about a committed relationship. Ten of Pentacles and the hair fab. Dude, this this could be the one coming in right here. It's fucking nice, man. Super nice. And the chariot right there, the victory. The victory. There's Cancer, Taurus, Cancer. Majors that I got up here. Let me see. Do I got any majors up here? Just Taurus and Cancer. May mean something to you, may not. But this is definitely victory, you know, after the battle. The <laughs> sword shining down in your head. Driving your chariot to a new world right there. A brand new world of victory, man. Could go all the way. It's beautiful, man. The hair fan right there. Wow, what a powerful spread. All right. Golden Tail people, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed sharing this with you. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. All right. Let's pick all this up. Pick all this up. Shuffle it up. And we're going to play with the influence of angels, people right here. Before we do that, I'm going to shuffle these cards up. Shuffle them up for my angel, influence of angels, people. 
Influence of Angels People Love Team. Thank you. Let's cut the deck for the Influence of Angels People. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's chop it up right here. The Romance Angels for my Influence of Angels People. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Let's cut the deck for my Influence of Angels People. And the majors. Shift this energy up here a little bit from my influence of angels people. A little cut. Cut the deck. There we go. Nice. All right. Very nice. All right. Let's play some cards. This will be for my influence of angels. Tarot people. And throw out a five card movie spread from this amazing deck right here. See what it has to say. A couple of cards off the bottom for the weather. Over the over the spread. A handful of uh, the Mystic Moon Oracle. A handful of the Romance Angels. And of course, the uh, overall Major Arcana from the Starman. All right, love team, let's tell my influence of the angels people what their friend is thinking and feeling about them now. Thank you, love team. Here we go. The golden pinnacle came out. You know, that's an offer. First card out could be in the Golden Pinnacle. The Ace of Pinnacles would tell me that somebody wants to give you an offer. I like it, man. It's the cornerstone of the quintessential, you know, the, the little white picket fence and the big castle, you know. It's nice, man, the old Golden Pinnacle. Could have taken a while for this offer to come in, but... Your friend, man, they're thinking about coming in here and bringing the old golden pinnacle. More. Influence of the angels. What are they thinking and feeling about? Their friend. Justice. A major arcana, a major life force card. Justice has showed up here. It's Libra. May mean something to you, may not. It's about the balancing of karma. It's about balance coming in in the situation. Because, you know, that golden coin, it can take a hell of a long time to manifest. Kind of looks like that, you know, they're looking at it right there. More, please. This is interesting. What's, what are they thinking about? Um, what's their friend thinking about them right now? Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, isn't that interesting? They could be thinking that you have a lot of options. You know? They could be thinking that they need to balance this situation out. They could be thinking that it took too long to bring this golden coin offer in for you. Because you definitely got a lot of options. If they be thinking you got Seven of Cups... Mm, you got some coffee dates that you could absolutely be going on. Good for you. You didn't sit around and wait on them. Well, they made up their mind about that slow movement of bringing that golden coin in here for you. More, please. What are they thinking and feeling about? My influence of angels, people. Seven of Pentacles. <sighs> they know that you waited for them. They're nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof, too. I'm telling you that. They want to bring balance in. Again, man, I don't know what you're going to do right here. Because you've been waiting a long time when Seven of Pentacles shows up. And the Golden Pentacle. Mm. That's about an eight. It's about a new beginning. But there's definitely some new beginnings that could very well be happening for you right now with Seven of Cups, and they know it. 
And they want to bring balance into the situation. They want to bring it in now before it's too late. More, please. What are they thinking and feeling about my influence of angels, people? Thank you, love team. The Queen of Cups. Well, they think you're the Queen of Love. They think you're an empath, the one with psychic abilities, the dreamer, the healer, the queen of love. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh man. Three major arcana. You got it going on right now, don't you? The Wheel of Fortune, which talks about they want this wheel to spin in an upward direction for them. Temperance, they know you've been, they know that you've been patient. That's Sagittarius. They finally, they finally figuring it out that this is some kind of divine relationship with the temperance sitting by the wheel. And the wheel is uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and uh, Sagittarius sitting next to it, and the High Priestess. See, they're having some awakening about who you are. Uh huh. They've been holding a secret from you. And I can tell what it is about how they feel about you. Until, you know, all this starts showing up for you. Nine of Pentacles. My independent, self-assured, confident business person right here, man. Tuned in, tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the spirit right there. High Priestess, you know. The world card. And a whole new world for you. Whole new world for you. What they went and gone and done, whatever they went and gone and done. Yeah. Oh, they want six of pentacles. They know they need to come in with reciprocity. The magician right here. They want to manifest a new beginning. Death cycle. Oh my God. They want to end the ten of swords. They want to end it. They feel like hangman. Five of pentacles. You left them out in the cold. Oh, they definitely want to communicate, King of Swords, because now they feel it's two of cups and, and that cup overflowing with love. Look at that. Look at this story right here, man. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. They know they need to come in with reciprocity. Uh, they want to manifest a new beginning with you, the magician, because this thing's dead dog in the middle of the road, dead with a death card right there uh, and Ten of Swords right behind that. You know, they want to end this painful cycle. They want a new day to dawn. They feel like hangman, hanging in the hangman's tree right there. Definitely got a new perspective about who you are. Well, of course they did. Look at you. Bam, right there. Nine of Pentacles. Bam, look at you. Brand new world right there. They're going to come in with this one pinnacle. Oh, look, I got your pinnacle. Oh, I got nine of them. I'm good. I'm good. I think I'm going to have a cup of coffee with somebody. Five of Pentacles, they'd be feeling left out in the cold. Hangman, Ten of Swords, Death Cycle, Dark Night of the Soul happening with these people right here. Across the board, King of Swords. Look at him holding his little heart right there. Oh, <laughs> it's melting. Oh, oh, the old King of Swords wants to talk. About two of cups and ace of cups. Wow. I mean, you know, let them speak. He wants you to do his best for you. Go have a cup of coffee, huh? Let them figure this out right here. They're definitely going to go through Dark Night of the Soul. I mean, shit, you may want to let them hang in the hangman's tree. It's probably where they had you for a while, huh? Being a hangman's tree ain't a bad thing. Look at what it did for you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You get yourself out of that hangman's tree, don't you? Damn straight you do. <laughs> you decide, I'm going to have a cup of coffee right here. Uh-huh. Uh, uh. <laughs> they know you're the catch anyway. I like it. 
I don't know what you're gonna do. Let's throw out some cards right here, see if we can get a little more clarity on this. You're gonna go have fun is what you're gonna do. Yeah, they wanna return. It's awful dark and shadowy. Of course they wanna return. You're the freaking Empress. Oh. Union. They want union with their divine feminine. Look at this. A lot of these unions are going to start coming together. Look at this right here. Reinvention of themselves. Ain't that nice? Looks like they lost their head wherever they were at. About a commitment. Yeah, they def oh my god, they definitely want commitment with you anymore. They've begun to reinvent themselves. I like it, to be honest with you. They definitely want commitment with you, man. Look at this shit. Who wouldn't? You're Nine of Pentacles, man. You're Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. All they got is this one little pinnacle they bring in. You got it going on. Says that they're working on themselves, though. But I see Dark Knight of the Soul shit right up here, you know. Hangman. I don't know. I'd let him hang in the hangman street for a little while longer, huh? Cycles and New Direction. And cycles, the moons. and They went ahead in a new direction. Look, and the regret. And that you are highly admired by them. Whether you know it or not. I admire you. Jesus. Queen of Cups and Nine of Pentacles right here. You got it going on, man. I admire you. Understanding about compromise. The last one's going to pull out. An offer. Come make you an offer. Look at the sun. Are they, the heavenly is coming down on their head. Compromise and understanding, regret, the cycles. Swords have been working on this person right here, my friend. It's nice. I want you to do what's best for you. I mean, they're in hangman. They want to end this painful cycle. It's up to you. They know that you're out, you know, enjoying a cup of coffee, possibly with other people. They know you're probably not working on this garden no more. You know, you're working on your own garden right here. Look at this right here, man. I love this deck. She's working on her own garden right here. She ain't working on that garden right there. She's kind of looking at it like, mm, nah, I see it over there. Um, you know, look at all these cups right here. Well, you take a minute right here. I'm playing with you for a minute. Of course, that's when they come rushing back in, ain't it? They want to manifest something with you. They had an awakening. They're willing to compromise. Oh, wow, thanks. I'm willing to compromise with you. Here's the offer. They're definitely going to bring you in some gifts. Well, Come bearing gifts, that's fine. Huh. <laughs> All right, man, it's love. Let's see what we got here for love. Let's we'll see right here for love. Very soon. Very soon, clearly decide what you want. Clearly decide what you want. So that it comes to you now. Because <laughs> they're just hanging in the hangman street. It's your call. They know who you are, man. <laughs> yeah, they want to take this into a new direction. Oh, they're regretting. Yeah, because there was definitely unrequited love. And that means that one person loved the other one more than the other one. Looks like that coin is flipped right here. Although you probably still got feelings for this person. I know, I know. Just want to let him be in the hangman's tree for a minute. It's all good. It's all good. Got the old it's safe for you to love card. This definitely means it's safe for you to love yourself. That's for sure with the spread right here. I think there's real remorse here. I think there's real regret. But nobody knows better than you. Got an engagement coming out, you know. 
you know, soon, very soon. Clearly decide what you want. I want my ring. You know, heart to heart conversations. She's telling him about it. We're not playing this time. Look at the little angel up there. And, and don't, don't forget this. And don't forget that. <laughs> And then the passion, you know, the passion between these two. It's a beautiful love story that I see right here. I let him hang in a hangman's tree for a minute, you know. Tell him what you want. I'm not going to play this shit the way that we played it before. I know, and I say regret and an offer. I'm bringing in gifts for the Divine Feminine right here. It's going to be going in a new direction. Definitely got a whole new thing coming in here for you, a new direction with your friend. I like it, man. It's a nice love story. It's because you you just went ahead and just worked on yourself, man. Just made yourself, you know, nine of pentacles and the queen of love right there. Who doesn't want this person in their life? Really? Huh? That's the catch, man. <laughs> of course they ain't coming back. Yeah. All right. Got the hermit. It's all about, you know, going inside and doing all that inner work. It's Virgo. May mean something to you, may not. Doing all that inner work on yourself. Healing your head, healing your heart, being led and guided by the divine. Astrological alignments lining up. Cycles. And the strength card on the bottom of the deck, which is Leo. May mean something to you, may not. Definitely about taming the beast within. Taming a beast without. This is a story about the taming of a beast. Hmm. Hope you got something out of it. Hope you enjoyed it, my friends. I know I enjoy doing these for you. I love you guys. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.